Are there many jobs to do in the garden this week, Mrs Waters? Oh, Beaky, there's lots of jobs, especially in the greenhouse. OK, that's the busiest place at this time of year. We've got to go and plant some more seeds and get them growing, ready to put out when the weather's a bit warmer, just like we did with the beans the other day. Will I be able to help with the jobs? Some of them. I don't think you'd be able to manage too many, though, Beaky. I think if you had hands, it would be a lot easier. OK? Oh, hi, Buffy. You come to see us? Hello. Here again? I know, you like to see Beaky. Off you go. <laughs> She's always following us around, isn't she? She is. She's a very friendly cat. What are you doing now, Mrs Waters? Well, Beaky, I've got the mower out because I started cutting the grass the other day when it was really nice and then I ran out of petrol and the grass is just lots of tiny little plants growing together and when I have cut the grass a little bit later this week I've got to spread some feed and weed and moss killer on it and that should help to make the lawn better but I'm not going to kill all the weeds around the farm because we need to attract the bees and the wasps especially near the kitchen garden right this is another job I need to do. Better yeah, get busy. We've got the sprout stalks. And I've never grown sprouts before. These are the first sprouts I've ever grown. And I've collected the sprouts all the way up the stem. And I'm just about to take off the last few before I take the stalks away. Now, because I've never grown them before, I don't really know where the seeds are going to be found. But the top of the sprout plant has suddenly started to grow a bit more. So I'm going to leave one or two of them to see whether I get any flowers and seeds. I'll just finish picking those now. What will you do with the stalk, Mrs Waters? Well, I'll have to dig that up, Beaky, and chop up the stalk because it's so thick it won't rot down very quickly on the compost heap. But the leaves can go on the compost heap and then that goodness from the leaves will rot down next year. I'll be able to spread the compost on the soil to feed the soil again, which then feeds the plants. This is a pretty colour. What's this? That's called purple sprouting broccoli. But the funny thing I found was that when you cook it, it goes green just like normal broccoli. But it's uh, a little bit different because it's in spears. That means instead of being a great big piece of broccoli in the middle, you get lots of little ones that you then have to cut. So I'm just going to have a go at doing that. Is it nice? Does it taste nice? It does, it tastes just like ordinary broccoli, really. But it's very nice in stir fries. Oh! What's that big pile, Mrs Waters? What's it for? That's called manure beaking. I've taken that from, we call it the poo pile. And that's horse manure and straw that's rotted down. And that is going to help to feed this year's plants. Because remember, plants need food and water and sunshine. Just like me. <coughs> that's right. We're all living organisms, so we need all those things. I need to dig that into the soil now, though, so that uh, it's not a great big heap in the middle. Are you doing it today? Maybe. So look down there, Beaky. You can see that I've spread manure or compost around the bottom of the fruit trees. And that is to help feed the fruit trees. If we look a little bit higher up, you'll notice that there's a green band. What's that green band for, Mrs Waters? That's called a tar band, Beaky, and that's there to protect the apples later in the year. It stops certain creatures from climbing up the trunk and spoiling them, so sadly all those little black bits are insects. Can I eat them? No, not those. Birds usually like to eat live insects, not dead ones. They're all dead insects. Okay, but 
but that's there to protect the apples. So we should get better apples than we did last year. I need to replace those tar bands now because that one's getting rather full and this is another time of year when the insects start to crawl up the trunks and we need to watch and be careful. This pile in the middle here is quite dark and that's because the straw has rotted down with the, the horse manure and that is ready to go on the garden. This pile here is the fresh pile. So that's just come out of the field shelter yesterday and you can see how yellow that is. So that's got a, a few months of rotting before we can use that on the garden. I'm going to dig up a little bit in the in the one that's ready so that you can see that inside the poo pile it's steaming. It gets really hot and we might be able to see the steam rising. Hang on Mrs Waters, take me with you because Buffy's following us again. I think she's following you Beaky. I need to fly up to somewhere high so she can't get me. I don't think she would anyway. No, I can't see any steam, but that's probably because I took so much away yesterday that uh, it's cooled down overnight in the wind. When, you know when it's ready because the smell disappears. So if it's smelly, it's fresh. If it doesn't smell, it's ready to go on the garden. Right, Beaky, well, it's time to get on with all of those jobs or we're not going to get everything finished. All right, so let's get started. See you all soon. Bye. <laughs>